Hello, thank you for joining me on another episode of Welcome to My World. Lola with us today because I feel bad coming to the woods and not bringing Lola because well you know it's, it's the woods and she loves a bit of wood she does walk terribly at first because obviously she's uh, way too she's way too excited yeah but after you know you've been out about 10-15 minutes and she does calm down don't ya and she walks a bit better but anyway this is not about Lola this is about isopods obviously if we see any bits of wood and things that we need to move to find isopods springtails whatever then we will obviously be lifting it to collect in our little pots but we'll be putting it back because obviously we're going to leave it how we found it let's have a little walk around the woods and see what we can find Oh yeah. Oh, Layla, get off that. You have all splinters in your mouth. That's exactly what Jess used to eat. She would just eat her way through this stuff. Layla, off. This is like one that I need to shred for the uh, yeah, substrates. So just... It's fabulous stuff. Layla, get off. Get away. Get away. Layla! Layla. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> You're right. That's nothing. Oh, there's a nice pot. Oh. Get out, Layla. Oh, he's a normal little black one. Black? Yeah. I ain't got black. No, fuck, where'd he go? There he is. Don't hurt him. Let's see him. Lola, get Lola, away from him. He's not food. He looks like your other ones. Is I think. he? No, she's the little black. Ah, oh, that's it. Hey, let me get me a little pot. Hang gone. I might have found one, kids. Right, so these are the pots that I've brought with. So I've put some wet tissue in there and some leaves which have been dried and sterilised and all sorts at home. Just until we get home and put them in a new enclosure. But we think he's a different type. Let's have a little nose. This one's a black one, which is really cool. That's the one we've got at home. It's brown, isn't it? Right, we found our first isopod of the day. It's a black one, which is cool. Because like I said, the other type we've got at home, um, which I'll show you later when we get back what we collected. Um, they are not um, the same, so that's cool. But yeah, I'll keep looking and then we'll show you if we find anything else in this woods. So we found another big tree, so we're gonna, Sam's gonna try and flippy flip it. And uh, I think it's gonna break apart before I flippy flip it. Yeah, there's a beetle down here. Beetles are good. 
six worms. Beetles, we got eerie wings. Look at that big beetle. Look at that big beetle. Yeah. Oh, look, here's another one of them black ones. Yeah, it's not gonna fight. They're not. You got it? Nope. <laughs> it doesn't want to come up. I've got everything in my hand, so I can't help you. He's a slightly different fight again. Is he? Yeah. See if we can get him before he runs away. These uh, mosses are nice, aren't they? These little mossy trees. Lovely. Let's see what else we can find. Let's look into these mossy ones because I think these might be the ones where the black ones were. <laughs> oh, I thought this was a log. <laughs> Like you would just pull them apart and there's a chestnut inside. But these have all rotted away. Nice. We've lost some now in the low line. See what we can find. I mean, look at all these. Look at these beautiful logs with all mosses on. I don't think we can take these because obviously with the leaves and things we bake them but We'd just kill the moss, I imagine, if we uh, baked these ones, but they are nice. But, but I will be touching some of these woody bits today because isopods absolutely love them. And we bake them in the oven so that it kills any germs or bacteria or animals that we don't want on them. And uh, yeah, the isopods absolutely love them. So this Sam was just saying that all this moss is, is like sphagnum moss and I buy these <laughs> yeah, we buy it um, it. and it's not that cheap but uh, just so you know guys, a little plug, I am um, going to be selling some bits for the isopods. I'm actually breeding some isopods but until my colonies get bigger but yeah we're going to be making and selling um, some bug grub. So again, not just for the isopods, um, with all the nutritional stuff that they need. Um, we've really been doing our research and we've come up with a really good bug food that we are happy with. And our isopods absolutely love it. Um, so we're going to be selling that very soon. And we're also going to be selling leaf litter and substrate. We've got a really nice substrate as well that we're really happy with. Again, we've done so much research and everything. So... Um, we think that we have got some good stuff that we're really happy with and we're going to be literally selling it so once um, we're up and running I'll plug it somewhere in the videos and you can find me on Facebook and wherever else I'll let you know I'll do some shorts and tell you um, with some links and things that you can go and have a look what we are selling but for now while we're breeding um, we're just going to keep breeding I'm just going to keep collecting and uh, yeah but anyway, back to the video we, uh, we've we got the little black isopods we've got two of them now so hopefully we're going to off camera we're going to go and have another little look maybe on camera maybe off camera we'll see um, and we're going to see if we can find some more of the little black ones because they're really cool and obviously once we get home we'll show you everything that we've got and we're probably going to try and make it to another woods uh, before it gets dark today so uh, there's that but as them black ones are in this woods I want to kind of have a little nose for them before we go um, to the next wood because I can hear the rain. But anyway, onwards and upwards. Mm. What? Oh, what one that is, and we're standing on the work of things. This one's just going to take us out. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, some more nice bits we could have from there. 
obviously you don't take from the ones that are upright and still alive but the ones that are fallen you can take them well we're taking them I don't know if you can or not but anyway no I'm not she's bored anything there's not really anything under this one there's one oh yeah Mm. I'm trying to escape in this tub. This tree where it's all broke as well, all the bits are broke off, it's nice and dry. They can utilise these as well. It's okay, Lelia. Because this is the wood that the ice pods like, isn't it? Dun, 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 dun. Is there anything in there? No. Oh, found some of it. A ferocious beast. That's my nice surprise. And you've got spring tails. Look. Can you little black spring tails? Where's your finger? There it is. Don't know if it's a spring tail. Is that too big for a spring tail? I think it might be a spring tail. I'm not sure. There's a couple of black ones we've seen if it is. It's got centipede and millipede. I don't know the difference. I can't even see it. There, I just bought some. I think it's a centipede. Uh, Any yeah. ice pods? Yeah. Got beetles. Slugs. We rolled it. For nothing. Yeah, it looks like there's nothing under this one except some little mushrooms growing and a lot of fungus. We've got a big beetle. Look at him. Should we collect him? What are you going to do with him? I don't know, he's big isn't he? Look at him. Is he dead? Oh look at him. Plain dead. Look at him. He's got purple. My goodness. He's probably got wings as well, he's just going to fly up in your face and go rah! It's beautiful. Let you go back. Come on my little friend. Come on. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, anyway, I'm not interested in that beetle, but Little beetles. Oh, little beetles. To be fair, surely they would be where the other ones were that we found them. We should have carried on looking, shouldn't they? If they were in one tree, there wouldn't be... Yeah, there wouldn't have been just one in there. There would have been more than one, because the other one we found in another tree. Where they bounce. Is that one? Look at all the springtails. They've run away now. They were jumping. They've all bounced away to safety. There's one. Oh, there they are, there's some, I see them. They're jumping. Let's leave them. Let's leave them be. Teddy! What we got, what we got? Here we go. Um, I suppose it's uh, nice. Let's get them. The normal ones, maybe. Have to separate all these. Aren't we? Right, we're back. It's hours later. We went Many back. Yeah, we brought later. Lola home. Um, she, she was, was getting tired. knackered. <laughs> she was so tired, bless her. We were out for about three hours. And um, we took her home. And then we went back, which we didn't film. But we found some more of these little... Um, Teeny, tiny, shiny... Black ones, yeah. Into a ball. So, we're going to show you what ones we found today. Um, we had some before that we collected from the wild, um, and they're in a little tub doing really well. Um, but we collected some of the same, some different wild type. And then, like I said, we've got this um, weird one, a weird one, it's like black, shiny. Um, it looks like Armored Lydium, if you know, you know, Bulgare. Um, but I am on a lot of groups on Facebook and they, uh, some people said it was the, um, Amazonian Vulgaire and some, uh, one person said that there might actually be a, was it millipede? Yep. Yeah, there might actually be a millipede. So that's really interesting. So, um, it's a really short one if it is. I'm really worried about stuff like that. Like I know that millipedes and centipedes and stuff have. Centipedes would have venom. Millipedes. 
can't really cyanide. teeny teeny tiny tiny amounts of cyanide but oh so I'm gonna put my gloves on at all the shows we've been to they let people just stick yeah. their hands in and pick them up and lick yeah, them so and no nothing, one says anything it's nothing dangerous especially when you're licking on yeah um oh, yeah just, I Blue gloves. Say about stuff so I'll put my gloves on as you see Sam doesn't have his on right so let's turn the camera around and we'll show you what we got today like I said today was a bit of a different video but like I said we are going to be um I am actually breeding um some uh, isopods so that's what I am into at the minute and we are like I said going to be selling bug grub um, substrate we're going to be selling um, leaf litter leaf litter and obviously a lot of people that sell it they just sell it and then they say like freeze it or oven it yeah, or you've got to sterilise it. it yourself but we have sterilised it for you so all our leaf litter and bits um, and bits of wood uh, we've got the orchid bark, but you've also got a lot of the like dry rock wood where it just yeah, the crumbles rotten, yeah. in your hand. Um, but again, we have um, ovened everything. We've got our new little packets. Um, let me show you actually in the cube. <laughs> right, so this is some of our um, packaging. We're waiting for other bits to come. And um, these are going to be for our substrate. Maybe even, the leaves. Yeah, it depends. Um, depends if we can get enough in there. Yeah. It's going to be our little bags and then we're going to have labels and stuff on them and then they seal the top so you can keep everything nice and fresh um, and then that's the same the little one this will have the bug grub in yep because um, even a pouch like that big is going to last a long time yeah yeah well but, depending on how many you got but yeah but yeah so that's what we're doing but like I said I'll let you know when <coughs> things are available to buy we've got these little tubs we just punched holes in the top and at this end um, and we're going to just put some spag moss and some bits in there for them to as some leaf litter for tonight and then we'll sort something more permanent although if we don't have many in a colony I might keep them in these for a little while until they just so that they meet each other if you know what yeah, I mean yeah so they're not um, all separated so this is like our next size up we use it's like one two and a half litres or something yeah that's probably got um, what 20 in yeah. and something like that and that's is just how we do it we just literally have I don't know hopefully you can see the spag moss this end then we have some leaf litter and some cork bark in the middle and then our grape substrate which is which is what you're going to love and you're going to buy from us and uh, yeah we've got a little air hole here and little air holes here with little vents on the top we have spring tails in the bottom of these isopod tanks as well and we keep the um this side down where the spag moss is and then there's good ventilation um and we keep that half dry right so we're going to set these up um as we would just set a larger enclosure up but on a smaller scale obviously so let's do that right, so this is some that we have pre-made up um of our substrate which is what we're going to be selling it's this is like gold dust guys this is so let's put some in big cork bucks in this one because uh, they're not really big enough but they can still they can still hide under the leaves yeah. and stuff so we'll put some leaf litter and in. there is wood in the substrate yeah all right so that's the substrate leaves leaves I'm just going to show you a quick one of our tubs oh, we've there's many. collected and uh, sterilized sterilized because we're good like that Got to look out for you. Mm, crispy. Crispy, crispy. Let's do, we'll do this end with a bit of uh, leaf litter. These are all oak leaves. And then let me get our spag meal moss. And then I have this end, the wet end. <laughs> I haven't got any springtails in there. I'm not going to put springtails in these ones for now until I go in um, bigger containers at the minute because uh, I'm just not. Right, so that's just a really quick setup. So a nice substrate. Uh, like I said, we'll be selling that. Um, some nice litter leaf, leaf litter, litter leaf, leaf litter on this side. And then we've got the sphagnum moss here. Um, 
lovely which will keep it moist in there all right so obviously to keep this nice and moist just spray it with um anything that's not tap water basically if you do use tap water then make sure you put like the um the chemicals in to take the chlorines and stuff out of your water it really lime scaly and see when it's so we don't even attempt it we just use bottled water to be fair yeah right so that's a little setup so let's show you what we got and then we're going to put them into these little tubs um as we go along so they look different so i'd like to separate them um I know they're all wild, but I'd like to separate them like... you got some which are darker black, some which have a yeah. skirt on them, and then you've got one of the little possibly millipede, possibly not bugs down there. Yeah. So let's have a little... Let's take these out in there a minute, because then we can... Oh, there's a little one. Careful. So these are the ones that people are saying they could be millipedes. They're really beautiful. I need to try and get a picture of their little faces. Look at that. It's so nice and shiny. So let's put all the pill bugs in the one, then we can come back to them after. And hopefully they will all open. You've got one more, it's on that piece of stuff so you've got these ones with the skirts on them they're like brown with the whitey beigey skirts so I'm going to put that into my already existing colony because that's what is in there right, this one this one has got a skirt that one can go oh. is it off Nope. He wants to show you that one. The brown with the beigey skirt. You can see in the spag moss. There you go. So these ones now look they look different um like a dark no skirt either no skirt solid color hopefully you can see so i'm not going to put that in this tub so i'm going to get a new tub out now let's move this tub so i'll keep all the solid color ones oh <laughs> free solid ones in there this one's a skirt one, isn't it? Yeah, that goes back in the other tub. So I'll put that back in the tub that we just took away. And what are you, my little friend? You might be a skirt, a skirt as skirt well. Smell on. That's a skirt one. There's a monkey. Oh, I can't pick him up on that. It's too. Uh... Nope, doesn't like my finger. Yeah. Need like a piece of paper or something thinner. Or a leaf. Use leaf. Yeah, let's do a little leaf. I'm going to put this one on him with the brown ones because I think he's got a little tiny skirt you can see. Just in case. Right, and then what we've got left in here. Yeah, He's one of the black ones. Solid colour. So you, my little friend, can go in here. We have this one that's on the leaf hiding. Because oh. this one is a solid colour as well. There you go. Oh, that's a solid colour one. Okay, solid colour for the wind. So we've got solid colour in there. And then we've got a wild type. Another one with a skirt. Let's put that there so we can see it. And that one's with a skirt in there. This one is the one that I said had the orange skirt on it, so it's like this one. 
But he's orangey. But he had an orange skirt. Let me see if I can show you to him. So this one, hopefully you can see. He hasn't got like the cream or the whitey skirt. He's got an orange skirt. So I think I should put him in with... Because he's actually a solid colour, isn't he? Or is he not? I'm not sure. He's a weird He's one. like solid colour. So he's not one of these ones. He's like this one solid, but with the orange skirt. What should we do? Where should we put him? Should we put him in with the solids? I guess in the solids Because I think for he now, hasn't yeah. got... Um, well, the solids haven't got a skirt, have they? Oh, look, he's another orange skirt. I know I collected two. <coughs> we should put them in together. Put him in here, then. Huh? Put him in here. What, in his own pot? Yeah. Has he got orange skirt? Is he the orange skirt one? Hard to tell. No, maybe not. He looks more plain. What? Which one? Like wild, just plain. This one? Yeah, because he's got a skirt, but I don't think it's orange. Okay, so we'll put all the skirts in there together, then. Does anybody know what this is as well? Because this is what we... You know the ones where we thought they were like black um, isopods, but we've, like I said, been on the groups and people are saying they might be millipede. Oh, I've just seen a little tentacle. What, an antenna? Yeah. Oh, maybe it is alive then. It looks too shiny to be a seed pod. So we've got this brown one as well. Guys, look, the brown one is opening. He's not a seed pod. He's not a seed pod. But what is he? Look at his little face. Can you see him? He's really cute. He's a brown one. Right, so these are the, well, we thought they were like black isopods, but like I said, people on the Facebook groups think they might be millipedes, which they're probably right because their faces look the same since they've like tagged us in pictures. Mm. Um, and looking at the faces, they do look like the millipedes. But, however, they're really cool, and I imagine they um, they were found in the same place as these other isopods, so we're guessing they need the same care. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Obviously, we will look into... Um, the care guide for these ones online now we think we know what they are and we will house them um, appropriately if we need to change anything within the setups but for now let's tip it in let's see how many we've got we've got five six seven eight nine cool i think we've got nine and um one looks like a brownish and then one is definitely a brown which is a big brown one let's put them in to the spagnol on my side and we'll leave them to do what it is they do their thing but yeah let's tidy up and then we'll come back so i forgot to show you um the two new colonies that i brought from a lady on facebook so she was selling her dairy cows and uh kluge gestroy um so that's what we've got so i just wanted to give you a quick show of these and their setup so these are in bigger um tubs and as they obviously breed i'll put the other ones in bigger tubs too so these are my daddy cows beautiful some of them have got a little orange get a little orange tinge to them didn't they yeah these are my dairy cows i've got a really good deal on these ones guys and these ones are my kluge gestroy and they haven't touched their little bit of uh, stuff as well. Let's see if we can show you these ones. Is any hiding? And you've got the one under here. They're so beautiful. I love these ones. They're nice size as well, these ones are. Smaller ones. There's a lot of uh, man care in this. We had like about eight big ones. Um, and then the rest were tiny. But obviously we only paid for the eight big ones. So... I think we counted 53, no, 57, didn't we? So we had, yeah, yeah so seven adults and then 50. Um, but yeah, again, we've got a really good deal on these. And like I said, we're just breeding. We're breeding also wax worms, Mario worms. Um, looking into doing the flies that we feed some of the mantis as well. So we're just, we're just going to be selling a little bit of everything. But yeah, just wanted to show you... Um, 
our new column is but back to the video right guys so that's the video today i hope you enjoyed it something different again something else we're into um isopods and apparently maybe now millipedes we own some millipedes apparently so maybe cool. but yeah um thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and join us on fridays at 7 p.m and click the notification bell so you know when we upload new videos um yeah these are our little new wild caught isopods these ones we caught um a few weeks ago didn't we and yeah and what we've caught today we've added so yeah also what we got which we didn't show you was the uh, rotted wood that we got um there was a tree that had fell down and we um, had a bag on it so we collected that and that actually has got some isopod on it as well which we need to um, oh, yeah. decanter because obviously we need to um, oven cook the wood um, I had a few isopods on which we've kind of got in a thing outside so they shouldn't get out and obviously when we do bake them we will break it up and make yeah, sure there's no more we'll break it into small it. pieces uh, we'll break it into small pieces and bake it and then we'll add them to whatever we have got in here maybe we've got some more millipedes in it you never know mm. you might even have a spider mm. no, spiders, no. who'd have thought i'd have collected bugs so do you know what i mean never say never yeah next year you'll have a tarantula oh <laughs> stop it all <laughs> right i'm going to bed now it's late thank you for watching and we'll see you next week bye bye